I like it. I like it because you really transmit that you really want to take care of them and you are really interested in them. So I have a last question, Ben. Um, let's imagine that you have to teach to um, who are listening this this video or seeing this video um, a skill. Yeah, imagine um, a competence, a skill that you think is very important for psychologists and psychotherapists and therapists in general to work with kids. I ask you, the first thing, what is this skill? And the second thing, imagine an, ex an exercise, to propose an exercise to the psychologists to do it in their uh, um, common life, uh, outside their, their house or in their, in their home. And uh, what is the competence, the skill, and what is the exercise that you propose to develop, to improve? improve this, this skill. I have worked for so many years with Tapani Ahola. He's yeah. my business partner and we have developed ideas together. These days we talk on the phone every week and to share ideas. And the last time we were talking, we, we had a chat, we had a talk about this, like, like what is the pivotal or the most important, the, the key mm -hmm. uh, to, to this kind of thinking. What we do, we want everybody to learn, and then uh, this uh, competence that you are maybe also trying to come to. This competence it doesn't really have a name, but uh, let's give it a name uh, because there is the word goal. We could make a little play with words and start to speak about goaling. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, there is no, there is yeah. no such word, but we make it up. Yeah. It's a neologism. We yeah, make yeah. a new one. And, and then we can give meaning to it because it didn't exist before, so we can give our own meaning to it. And, and this word goaling means, I define this word, and it means taking any problem and converting it into the corresponding goal. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like saying every time you complain about something, you are actually maybe wanting to tell me what you want instead. Oh. So when you say, I hate it when it's so dark. Oh, I love that. Uh, so then it means you want more light, right? Uh, if you say this uh, the food is, you know, is uh, unsalty, it, it doesn't taste anything. Oh, you mean you want to have more spices in the soup. So when you complain about something, you actually have, maybe you are not expressing it, but somewhere you have a wish, something you want different. And uh, if people learn, if everybody would be speaking, not about what they are unhappy with, but they would be telling each other what would make them happy. You know, even in a couple relationship, if people tell each other, this would make me happy. If you give me a kiss on the, on the cheek in the morning, it would make me happy. Rather than complain, you never say you love me. Nobody's going to say, I love you, if you tell them you never say you love me. So, I mean, in relationships, in families, in schools, in workplaces, if we all became better at when we hear a problem, somebody's complaining about something, we kind of see behind that complaint and we go like, oh, do you mean, you almost like, oh, do you mean that you would like to have more spices in your food? But if somebody says, uh, you know, the, the, the child is hitting, is disturbing in the classroom, you look at that person and say, Oh, do you mean that you would like him to learn to sit still in the classroom? And then the person will say, yes, of course. And then you will say, oh, so you would like him to learn to sit still in the classroom. You are changing the way you speak. Yeah. It's exactly the same thing, but the words are different. And now, like one mother said, 12-year-old girl and mother was mm -hmm. talking to me. And I said, what skill you would like your daughter to learn? 
to the mother. And the mother said, she lies to me about her homework. When I ask her, is, do you have examination this week? She says she doesn't have. And when I ask her, did you get any homework? She says she didn't get any homework. She lies to me. I don't like it. I don't accept that my child lies to me. So I looked at the mother and I said, do you mean that you would like your daughter to learn to speak honestly to you about homework and examinations, and to tell it like it is? And the mother says, yes, because it's the same thing. What can she say? I just changed the way I said the same thing. And then I looked at the girl and says, do you think it would be good if you learned to be honest to your mother about your homework? And the girl said, yes. So we can start to work because we have a com go common goal. So how to stop talking about problems and to start to see the goals, well, let's say the goals behind or embedded or inside. Uh, every complaint is deep down a wish. And the more we talk on the wish level about improving things, the more likely everybody is to participate and then we can avoid these awful blaming games, you know, blame storming when everybody's blaming yeah. everybody and <laughs> criticizing, so. blame storming. They call it. Yeah. So then uh, we can have much more pleasant conversations and, and our job as therapists becomes uh, much easier. Yeah, that's, that's very precious. I. I, I love that. I love this this competence goaling you say, yeah, and uh, and the exercise exercise. It's it's very easy to do that in the common life, but not so easy to do that because you have to um, to change your mindset, to change the way you see the yeah. things. But it's very precious. Uh, thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. And you said about the exercise. I didn't answer the exercise, but it was kind of embedded because then you can actually make a list of different problems okay. and you can ask people, so what is the wish behind this problem and what is the wish behind this problem? Okay. And you can actually train your mind in figuring out what may be the wish behind. Of course, you always have to check and you have to say, am, am I right that this is what you want? I like it. Ben, thank you so much. This is a very good interview. I, 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 I had to take notes about what you say and hope to see you soon, maybe in Italy again, like last, uh, last year, okay? And Firenze, Firenze. In, Firenze. Oh, yeah, 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 in Firenze in, um, in September, right? You will be there? I think so. Oh, that's cool. So we'll see for sure in Firenze. And thank you again. Um, see you soon. Bye. Bye.